Overnight, two ballistic missiles were fired at a U.S. warship. Now, this happened in the Gulf of Aden and appears to be the latest in what has been numerous attacks by Iran-backed Houthi rebels out of Yemen against U.S. and coalition forces since the Hamas terror attack on October 7th. This latest incident all started with a distress call from a commercial cargo ship in the region. CNN's Katie Bo Lillis has, has this reporting for us. What more are you learning about this, Katie Bo? Kate, yeah, let's walk through the uh, the sequence of events here. On Sunday, a commercial tanker containing phosphoric acid with some apparent links to an Israeli-owned company sent out this distress call uh, saying that it was under attack while it was operating in the Gulf of Aden. The USS Mason, a guided naval missile, a guided missile destroyer belonging to the United States, which also operates in the Gulf of Aden and off of the coast of Somalia as part of a counter piracy task force, responded to that distress call when they arrived. At the commercial ship, they found five armed hijackers on board the ship. Those hijackers jumped off of the commercial vessel into a small boat of their own, sped away. The United States uh, missile destroyer gave chase and was ultimately able to obtain the surrender of those hijackers. Now, the United States has not publicly identified who these five armed hijackers were, but what we do know is that in the hours after this episode, two ballistic missiles were fired from Houthi-controlled territory in Yemen in the general direction direction of the Mason. Now, those missiles landed harmlessly in the Gulf of Aden, about 10 nautical miles away from the ship. So no U.S. injuries, no U.S. casualties. But for American officials, this is sort of yet another concerning signal that Houthi militants in Yemen may seek to escalate the conflict currently going on in Gaza in between Israel and Hamas. Absolutely. Katie, Katie. Bo, great reporting. Thank you. As always, John. With us now, retired Army Major General James Spider Marks, CNN military analyst and head of geopolitical strategy at Academy Securities. And Spider, let's just take a look at what just happened in the Gulf of Aden with this, you know, this freight ship there, an attempted hijacking. The U.S. jumps in to help and then missiles fired from the Houthis in Yemen. Is this a sideshow, Spider, or is this the type of thing we could see more in the coming days? I think we're going to see more of this, John. Clearly, it's like the gloves are off because of the outrage, the international global outrage when they look at what's taking place in Gaza, irrespective of what the IDF is trying to achieve with Hamas. This has now become a discussion about the, the brutal handling of the, pal the greater Palestinian issue. So Haran, Iran has gone back to its proxies, the Houthis being one of those, and saying, Fair game. Do what you need to do. You've got our support. You certainly have our backing. Iran does not pull the trigger, does not authorize each one of these engagements. But certainly the boundaries between what's appropriate and what's not appropriate in their perspective is wide open now. And that's what you're seeing. 